Hey guys, so I got a pretty funny comment here. Why are they still making ads for a year old phone? Um, so it was about Samsung Galaxy S2 and it was uh, Samsung that made that ad. Well, Samsung is making ads uh, about their, mainly about Samsung Galaxy Note and their Samsung Galaxy S2. And if we, you know, talk about the experience, I mean, I've been using my Galaxy Note and my Galaxy S2 a lot, or at least like, yeah, uh, yeah, I've been using them a lot, and I, I'm gonna tell you, I mean, you ha you get a 1.4 gigahertz dual core, or, n yeah, yeah, it's a dual core, I'm getting confused there, but you get a 1.4 gigahertz, like, dual core on the Galaxy Note, and a 1.2 gigahertz dual core on the Galaxy S2. Do you feel any difference? Do you feel, does it feel like the Note's faster? No. You know, you, you, you don't feel a difference, so, yeah, and... The two biggest uh, selling smartphones right now, like from Sammy's, you know, like the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy S2. That that's why they are making, uh, making, making uh, commercials about it, and that you know, just right now the Galaxy Note's being launched in the states, and then you say that uh, making ads for a year old phone. Uh, if you, if you talk about the announcements uh, when they announced the Galaxy S2, it, it's not even a year old. It's like eleven months. So saying that it's an old phone, it's it's a little overkill, I think. Uh, w when when it got launched, you know, like internationally uh, in May last year, and then like in the States a, f a few months later or a ton of months later, actually it's only been out in the States for a few months. So I would I wouldn't really say that, and you know, the States are obviously a huge market for like Samsung. So I wouldn't really say that it's it's a extremely old phone. Uh, but 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 obviously I, I can tell you this that you know obviously the market and you know when these products get out to to real you know consumers that that's always going to be behind for you know insiders like us like we the people that you know read tech news and everything like that you know stay 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 online you know stay stay you know hooked in always read the latest. We will always be like we we will always know what's going to be ahead of us. We always know what's going to be here, like what's what kind of smartphones and everything that we can expect uh, from from a year from now or something like that. Uh, but you know, consumers they you know we, they always going to be behind. I mean, Samsung's already right now have like prototypes for the Samsung Galaxy S four and. You know, Apple's probably working on iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 or <laughs> iPhone 4, iPhone 7s or iPhone 6s. Who knows what they're gonna call it? Um, but you know, it takes time to get products out to consumers because you know you have contracts. You need to start to, you know, you you need to have you know stores or factories when when they produce these things. You have patent issues. You have a ton of these things. So even though you know companies may have a genius like product out there it's gonna take like a year or like one or two years before they will get that product out and get that famous and then they may then then they need to advertise it like crazy sometimes so yeah yeah it's not a year it's not a old phone it's not an extremely old phone but you know okay if you talk about the announcement then it it's 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 a year almost um, so for Samsung developers and you know though they those guys they, they are probably calling it an old phone but you know if, if you talk if you, if you just all, ask anyone you know out uh, right now that's that's on the streets or yeah on the streets it sounds sounds like they're going on crack but uh, if you talk about anyone right now then you know like a lot of people are gonna say that the Galaxy S2 or like not an iPhone a lot of people know that you know the Galaxy S2 that, that's something that you should have right now they know that that's a good phone and it's not old because that's that's what you can get right now i mean you can't even get successor to the galaxy s2 and i mean the galaxy series is like one of the biggest you know android i think those are the you know top selling android smartphones ever um so if, if you can't get the successor then you know they, they they aren't old you know they aren't old so i've been out in the states for a few months and also i think this year that the galaxy s3 um is going to be launched uh, or that they're going to try to launch it in multiple countries at the same time like the us so they get it out faster like doing something that uh, you know apple do usually apple 
they try to get it out in like pretty quick on the market now uh, this time uh, I think I think they made it like with the iPhone 4s launch first they started like with the US and then they took a, a ton of countries coming like two weeks uh, later like you know like the whole Europe uh, and then like like what, what, what was it, like two months later like in December or that could have been three months later a little late uh, they launched it in like China and Russia I think but now they have stopped selling it from China I think because people got crazy and people were almost like killing each other when they were waiting for it um, but yeah I mean it's not an old phone it's not an old phone I have my Galaxy Note it, it feels kind of the same as the Galaxy S2 but you know it's still you know one of the top phones I don't think that these phones like th there are of course other phones with, you know with higher clock specs like okay now I mainly talk about Android here okay uh, mainly talk about Android I, I know Windows Phone 7 I, I know all of these other operating systems as well but now we mainly talk about Android here you know like the top Android smartphones or other Android smartphone alternatives uh, here are, if you talk about processor they have like yeah 1.5 gigahertz uh, dual core and my have 1.4 so I mean if I overclock it I could probably get it to like 1.8 or something like that but would I feel a difference I mean th that's a huge thing do, do I feel a difference no so wh why should I have a little higher clock if I'm still not gonna use it uh, but obviously next next month we're gonna get you know the latest you know we're gonna hear the announcements about the latest from Mobile World Congress but we do know that we're at least like gonna get like three new quad core smartphones like from Fujitsu we are from like HTC like their HTC Edge or HTC Seda uh, we probably have the Galaxy S3 coming out um, I mean that's at least three like high-end smartphones and it's fun that Fujitsu is gonna do things right now and like internationally like in Europe and like US probably sell a smartphone maybe because they're pretty huge there uh, uh, in their you know home country uh, but yeah so you know the next uh, high-tech stuff is gonna be announced next month or yeah next month because it's January right now but late February so I mean it's still a long time until we you know just will know about those products and then they have to get them out on the market and that's gonna take time so you know these are still you know the top phones that you get right now an iPhone 4s, Nokia Lumia 900 or you know a Galaxy S2 or a Galaxy Note but the Galaxy Note is basically like a Galaxy S2 but it's bigger okay so it's not an old phone it's a high-end phone right now it's it's a killer phone um, and I love it, you know, it's, it's sexy. Pick the white one. Um, but yeah, don't pick the slow one. I like on T-Mobile or something like that. I know in the States you have a slow one variant there. Um, yeah, so a quick clear video here talking. Um, yeah, it's not an old phone. Yeah, see you.